everybody and welcome back to another episode of Andrew Discusses. Today I want to talk about what I like to call St. Elsewhere Endings. Okay, let me explain. You see, way back in the, and I actually should probably double check the date on this just to make sure I get it right. Because, you know, I don't want to get it wrong here. Hold on. St. Elsewhere. Okay, so back in the 80s, okay, phew, all right, there we go. Okay, I wanted to make sure I got it right there. Okay, so back in the 80s, for six, for a little over six years, or almost six years, a show ran called St. Elsewhere. If you're unfamiliar with what St. Elsewhere is, I recommend Google searching it like I did to make sure I have the, to make sure that I had the, uh, <laughs> year right, but yeah, either way, it's a medical drama show. And it was made back in the 80s. The ending of the series caused a tremendous amount of controversy as we found out that all of the events that happened in the six seasons of the show were all thought up and in the mind of a young autistic kid. Basically rendering the entire series a moot point. There was like no, uh, there was like nothing. Uh, all the characters you came to love and cherish, they didn't exist. Literally, they never existed. And other shows have kind of taken this idea from time to time, where they've just like hit the reset button and made like events that have happened throughout the entire run of the show never happen. Characters never existed. Like it was all a dream. And this is sadly, at least I, I coined it, like I'd like to coin it the St. Elsewhere ending. So they basically seen elsewhere at the ending of some shows. And a good example uh, would be Futurama. And for those of you unfamiliar, when uh, Comedy Central took over... Again, let me double check that. When was Comedy Central's era of Futurama? That was actually something we were trying to figure out. I was uh, watching a stream from Zero the First. We were trying to figure that out the other night. I apologize for that noise. Okay. M E D Y C N T R Central... There we go. Okay, I just want to know when they took over the, uh... When did they take over the show? Basically, is what I need to... We're trying to figure out if it was, like, season 5. I think it kind of was. It's when se it was when they took over, like, season 5. Well, they took over, like, March, uh... 2008 to September of 2013. They just kind of ruined it then. Um, let's see here. Finally, blah, 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 blah. The film, 16 new half hour episodes. Okay, so season five then. Basically. It seems like it was season five. Um,. Yeah, because Comedy Central had it afterwards. List of episodes, that's what I want here. Because it was the movies that started it, so... Yeah. Yeah. That was it, the movies. It was Comedy Central took it over then. Because season four was, uh... Oh, wow, that was really the last episode. It's one of my favorites, The Devil's Hands or Idle Play Things. Ooh. Huh, no wonder I remember that one so well. But, um, yeah, okay, so you all get the idea. So when Futurama was taken over by Comedy Central, when they ended the series off, which would be season seven, when they ended the series off, it was called Meanwhile. It was the final episode that aired. And honestly, it, uh... It kind of sucked because they basically uh, went back to the start of the entire series. Because Fry ended up getting the ability to freeze time for like 10 seconds, go back to the past for 10 seconds, basically end. It wasn't freeze time. It wasn't freeze time. You could just go back. You could rewind time for 10 seconds. And he basically, um, what, what's a good word I'm thinking of here? Um, oh, yeah. He wanted to propose to Leela. He wanted to marry her. But 
he ended up breaking the device that allows him to go back in time, therefore basically freezing time in general. That's where it froze time. And that's basically it. Thinking that, you know, it's that they're stuck there and trapped forever, him, uh, Fry and Leela decide that, hey, you know, they're going to conduct their wedding themselves with the world theirs. Um, they uh, basically spend decades romantically wandering the world. The whole time, uh, the professor's trying to get a hold of them as he's a mysterious glimmer. And they finally just uh, go back up to the spot that was going to be where they were going to get engaged. And the professor finally just comes out of a wormhole and goes, Well, I managed to get everything back, but unfortunately, doing this, we're going to have to go all the way back to the beginning and have no memory of what happened. They literally hit the St. Elsewhere button and just reset the whole damn franchise. And that kind of bothered me. Mostly because, I mean, all right, besides the starters, that Futurama had such a great premise going... And then just ruins it with that. But it's the fact that they basically sane elsewhere at the ending and made it, hey, here you go. Uh, nobody cared anymore. You know, that, that was it. Uh, similar shows have done this. And I actually want to try, I should pull up a list of it. I know that other shows have done this. Yeah, because there's like a whole bunch of other. Uh, other shows that have done this. Um, yeah. I mean, I know that there's like a few shows, but I can't, I don't have a list here. Let's see. So TV's most notorious endings. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. But I know that there's, like, you have the St. Elsewhere one. Uh, I guess you could kind of chuck like a few dozen of them in there. Uh, other shows, um, I would say Game of Thrones, but I never saw it, so I really don't want to say if that got it or not. Uh, Seinfeld, it, I don't really know if that would qualify. I think that would basically get its own classification as an ending. I know there's the, what I like to call the Yes Dear King of Queens ending. Well, no, the King of Queens ending, where it's basically... Um, you know, oh, well, we have a surrogate kid, you know, that we adopted, and then all of a sudden, oh, uh, wife finds out she's pregnant. And boom, there you go. It's, that's the fucking ending. And that's happened on uh, The King of Queens. That happened on, um, yeah, it's King of Queens, uh, Mike and Molly, Rules of Engagement. Yeah, you have those. Uh, then there's shows where you have, like, the complete and total, uh, reverse of how the series started. Uh, like, Yes, Dear, where, oh, look, here's the finale. Oh, now the people that, now the family that started the series having the guest house that the in-laws had to live in, now they have to live in the in-laws' guest house because of issues that happened. Yeah, it, it's just, there are endings that suck, but when you see an elsewhere, an ending. Okay, when you see an elsewhere, when you basically uh, just make it so that stuff never fucking happened, and you just completely flip the script, either on the whole series or even just a small portion of it, that's basically slapping it in the face and going, "Well, there you go. Uh, that that's that's freaking it." But yeah, I mean, it's just they're like a cop out. And the sad part is, is that, yeah, okay, you can say that they're really good to do it that way, but at the same time, it's not. When you have a series that'll basically end itself by completely hitting the reset button, you're basically telling all those loyal fans that watched your show, that got invested in the characters, that started fan debates upon which character was what. I mean, hell, there were even movies that kind of had a St. Elsewhere style ending for part of the movie. I mean, look at the fucking Twilight series. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, ha. Huh. Yeah, so let's look at that piece of garbage there for a second, right? I mean, Twilight. And for those of you out there wondering... You read the books and watched the movies? 
Or were you Team Jacob or Team Edward? I hated them all. Okay? The only reason why I watched the movie was because I actually wanted to see how bad the last one was. I wanted to see why everybody was so pissed. And God knows it was worth it. Uh, basically, this epic monster battle. This huge fight that consists of werewolves and vampires going at it with one another. Just basically shoving it up, down, left, right, through their own assholes and everything. Everything was basically getting ripped asunder. It's all a freaking dream brought on by uh, one of Edward's family members. That was it. That's what you call a St. Elsewhere style moment there. But as far as ending the series by hitting the reset button, too many of them have done that. I can't, like I said, I mostly just remember Futurama and we have, uh, well, the actual show itself, St. Elsewhere. There have been a few others that either I just can't remember them off the top of my head or just blanking out on them and probably for good reason. They probably sucked. But still, when you see that's where an ending, it's not a good thing. Justify it all you want by, oh, well, we thought that this would be a really good ending, or, well, it fits the characters, you know, like profiles and how the characters work. No, it doesn't fit anything. The only thing it does is basically tell everybody that, well, we really had no idea of what we were going to do, no clue as to how we were going to do it, so we figured, ah, eh, well, screw it, it's not worth it anymore, and just figured, you know, nah, eh, screw this noise, and called it a day. Which, again, bothers me. If you at least come up with an idea for an ending, run it by some people first. I mean, when the original, when MASH ended, when it ended the first, basic, uh, basically the first half of the series, you know, the Henry Blake era, and they had the ending where Radar came out and said that his chopper had spun in and crashed into the Sea of Japan and nobody survived. That was basically jaw-dropping. That made sure that people paid attention to the show. The final ending of MASH itself, the series, was Goodbye, Farewell, and Amen, which basically wrapped up everything in a nice, neat bow. And left itself open, sadly, for a sequel that really wasn't the world's greatest. But still, that at least was a decent ending. They didn't erase characters, they didn't make stuff not exist anymore, they just basically said, hey look, here's what happened, stuff happens, and... You can fight it against it. You can't fight against it. You know, that's what it is. But when you say elsewhere at an ending, like Futurama, just hitting the magic screw you button, you're slapping in the face fans that have stayed with this show for eras and ages that have loved this show. I mean, soap operas goddamn do this all the time. I mean, you... Yeah, well, let's, take, let's take a look at a soap opera. You could have a character, okay, that, let's say this character is sleeping with this character, or this character dies in a car accident as a result of this character. Literally, three months down the road, they're back. It was all a dream. And I, it, was, it was all a dream. Take, uh, there was actually a soap opera I watched in high school, uh, Days of Our Lives. Yes, yes, boo me all you want. It's true. I watched Days of Our Lives in school. So, Days of Our Lives uh, played, and this is the fun part. So, I got into this when there was this mass murder spree going on, where like, characters were getting killed, they couldn't figure out who, and it was a snow day off from school. I caught the tail end of it, and I was like, ooh, this is actually pretty cool. I wonder if the character survives. My grandmother was nice enough, taped an entire week's worth for me, and I would watch it on a Saturday. So that was actually pretty cool. Then it got real stupid real fast. Uh, mostly with the characters like, oh no, they're not actually dead. You see, they're going to an island somewhere. Where they're basically stuck there behind a protective force field that prevents them from leaving for some unknown reason. And the person that you thought was killing everybody? No, no, no. She's not the murderer. The guy who thought she was the murderer turned out to be the murderer. 
or at least involved in this stupid shit show of a plot somehow. I, I stopped giving a rat's ass when I figured out that they're going to write this whole thing off as a goddamn dream. And, oh, hey, guess what? They wrote the whole goddamn thing off as a dream. All of a sudden, the one character wakes up, turns to her husband and goes, I just had a dream that I killed all of our friends, and they were all on an island somewhere. And he just tells her, go back to bed, honey. You just had a nightmare. We, we won't have Chinese food or something like that. And it's like, dear God, I was fucking right. And it's like, that's, that's how you have a crappy soap opera ending to an arc. But, you know, they basically see it elsewhere shit all the time. Because it's like, this character... I mean, my mom uh, talked with some people once. Uh, like a group of friends of hers or some acquaintances. And the one was saying about how uh, she stopped watching soap operas like years ago. And my mom was like, oh yeah, I stopped watching them too. My mom had a chance to catch one because she had a day off of school. She didn't have to work at the school the one day, and I had to go to school because it was just the elementary school that was closed. And it's like, oh, cool. So she watched an episode of, I don't even remember what Soul Bobber was, and it's like, the characters were still on there that were on there the last time she watched it fucking years ago. It's like, the characters haven't changed. Well, I mean, they've gotten older, fatter, and grayer in the hair, but... They basically, they're the same characters doing the same shit. It's just basically, yeah, because they hit the fucking reset button. It's like, yeah, here's, the, here's the reset button. Reset, reset, reset. It's, yeah, they just do the reset button. So that characters are just like, no, nah, no, we're, we're not going to change up how this character is. We're not going to... You know, all of a sudden go, oh, well, this character's seen the error of their ways. No, 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 they're a snarky jackass. That's what people like about them. Or, oh, no, 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 she throws herself on anything that moves. That's why people like seeing her, so they can insult her. No, 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 we gotta keep these characters the way they are, damn it. I mean, I, right after it basically started getting real stupid real fast on how this whole island thing and everything else... I'm just like, nah, screw it, I'm, I'm done, I'm done, I'm out, and I just, you know, I walked away from it. Then there are shows that just, you know, mess with the endings, there are shows that just mess with the whole plot. I mean, take a look at Dinosaurs, that Jim Henson uh, production. Yeah, that thing that, you know, fans like to forget or remember solely for I'm the Baby Gotta Love Me, which, by the way, I remember it for a lot more than that. But, uh, yeah. The last episode that aired um, on TV, at least that I remember airing on TV, was the one where they basically caused a nuclear winter. And that was it. They were like, oh, they're all going to freeze to death now. That's it. But then if you actually sit down and watch like the DVDs or at the time I had watched it streaming on ABC's uh, app, but then they had to... Then the license expired on it, so there was that. They basically had more episodes after that. I mean, there were episodes that aired after that episode came out. And I'm just like, what the hell? But I don't remember any of those ever being on TV. I just remember the nuclear winter thing, and that's where it fucking ended. Because it's like, oh, well, that's it. They're all going to die. End of the dinosaurs. Extinction. And I'm like, huh? That's it? That, that's all that happens? But yeah, that, that was it. I just kept shaking my head like, no, th this can't be. But yeah, they basically just, you know, killed off everything. None of it exists. Saying else where it ending, I guess. But, I mean, it's just one of those horrible, horrible things. And there are so many shows that do it, or repeat themselves and retool themselves or try to um basically oh one character's leaving well we got to replace that character but it's a series finale so that's what's going to be keeping people on their toes like uh, the war at home or malcolm in the middle yeah we all remember those shows but i digress have you ever dealt with a St. Elsewhere ending? Let's, uh, you know, let's open up a discussion here in the comment section below. Is there ever a show that basically just, like, 
for the final episode, the series finale, not the season, but the series finale, just freaking hit the reset button and said, screw you to hell, and just made it so that none of the events of the series happened. If they did, and if you're aware of one, talk about it in the comment section below. Let's get a good discussion going. And until next time, I'm Andrew Rhodes, and this has been Andrew Discusses. Bye, everybody.